Okay, it is October 13th. It's coming up, let's see, it's Wednesday. Friday will be 10 weeks from the time of the accident. Uh, this is my first attempt at making somewhat of a YouTube video, I guess, if you will, or a vlog. But I'm in Tijuana, Mexico, receiving stem cell treatments, all kinds of uh, anti-inflammatory treatments, all, all homeopathic and natural stuff. Just loving it down here. I came, so the accident was August 7th. I was in the hospital, was in ICU for about a week, and then whatever regular stay the hospital is for another week. Was at home, and about three weeks later, maybe even two weeks later, I came down here to Tijuana to a clinic that me and my wife have been coming to for about 12 or 13 years. The doctor's name is Dr. Calzada. It's really, really cool down here. Let's see if I can set this up. We, we first started coming down here because my wife was diagnosed with Lyme disease. We just couldn't find any, any help for her in the states that seemed to, to help her. The next thing that they talked about doing for her in the states was putting her on, I don't even remember what, it was a long time ago, but it was an antibiotic that was gonna be really, really hard on her body. We had heard about some clinics down here in, in Mexico that are really good for Lyme disease through some friends and so we came down we kind of actually the first time we came down we just came down on a whim basically didn't know where we were going or what the name of the clinic was. We actually went to a different clinic than the one that we ended up finding and that we've been using for the last 10 or 12 years and it was a great clinic but it was more of a, a cancer specific uh, clinic where Dr. Calzada where we're going now he does really really good with cancer he also treats and I don't even know if it's my place to say this but I, I would say he's more specialized in autoimmune diseases and then they're getting really really good with stem cell treatments and, and that's what I'm coming for now but anyway I came a month after the accident or a few weeks after I'd been home from the hospital the second day I was here I started to have feeling well I, I don't know if I'd say more feeling but I, uh, my right foot which has been my whole right leg everything on the right side has really been lagging compared to the left the second night I was here I was able to push with my right foot and that was the first time and I, I don't know you know maybe it's coincidence maybe it really is the treatment I believe it's the treatments you get here and especially believe it now because yesterday was my second day of treatments when I come and when most people come there in days of you come for three days at a time and yesterday again was my second day and I started noticing that when I left the clinic I was able to hold my right foot up better and do more of a heel strike in the front whereas when I was just the two days prior on the way down here I couldn't do that I would have to really just flip my foot out and it it slop all over and it was just pretty uncomfortable to go very far and uh, anyway so so it's I know it's helping also the first night so we got here Monday morning and went into the clinic and started receiving the treatment well Monday night that was Monday night so uh, was the first time since the accident that I haven't needed any of my nerve medications to go to sleep where I get really really bad nerve pain just in the bottom of my feet and it's almost only when I get in bed. So it's kind of crazy. I, my feet are always numb and kind of uncomfortable and my like around my butt and all my bowels just feel really, really numb and tingly and like it's kind of a weird sensation of a lot of pressure. I can't really explain it, but, and then my feet, they, they always are a little bit stingy and numb and I can't feel them very good. But like I said, Monday night, I was able, I, I didn't have any nerve pain. If I did have any, it was maybe for about five seconds and it was extremely mild to what I've been having. And again, last night, uh, same thing, no nerve pain. I'm not able to sleep and I think that's because, you know, I've been on the nerve pain medication since the accident. And so I think my body's become dependent upon the, the medications for sleep. I just lay there and toss and turn and toss and turn and then I'm up. But if I do fall asleep it, the last couple nights, it was at 2.30 and then 5.30, 6 o'clock, I'm up. But that's okay. I think that'll come and there's other things I can do to help me sleep. But anyway, the, the treatments you receive here, they're pretty incredible. They're, they, they do, uh, usually what you do when you get here is you, you go in and you get your lab work done so that they can look at your blood and you have a consultation right off the bat. Monday morning and then or, or if you come Wednesday through Friday whatever the first day you get here you have a consultation and then after your consultation 
they start you with treatments. Pretty much, there are a few treatments that everybody pretty much gets. I don't know exactly what they are. I've been coming down here for so long. It's been 12 years now that I've been coming down here and I've brought so many friends, referred so many friends, and came down so much for myself and my wife that I just trust whatever they tell me to do. But a few of the treatments that we do every time are chelation uh, through an IV, and then they give you vitamins through an IV. I can't remember the name of the other one through the IV. They do, I've the last two times I've been here, I've got oxygen ozone treatments where they, I don't know exactly what it is either, but they have a way to make O3 out of O2, and then they mix it with your, your own blood right in front of you, and it takes about, they, they draw the blood, mix it with the ozone, and then they re-inject it into your, into the same vein it came out of, and I tell you, I don't know if that's what it is or if it's a mixture of all the treatments, but you feel so good when you get done here. But uh, some of the other treatments they do, they do colonics, which is awful, but I think it's really healthy for you. Funny story, what it is is they stick a tube where stuff should just be coming out and they pump you full of water and they they actually work the water back and forth back and forth in your uh, in your belly while they're massaging your belly and it just breaks up all the old crumb and just it's a really good detox but I told my little brother first time I brought him that it was a massage because they also give you a massage here and they do foot baths anyway getting off subject again they uh, I told him that it was a massage and the little Mexican lady walks in the clinic where everybody's sitting with all their IVs hanging from the ceiling because you're all in there together she says Casey colonics and he's like yeah I want to get my massage and he goes back to get his massage well he didn't come out looking the same he figured out in a hurry that colonics was not a massage yeah, it was pretty funny and everybody in the room knew that I told him that it was a massage so it was pretty comical but that's the other thing about this place is the nurses are amazing they they just are the sweetest and the doctors they truly care about you they care you know how you're feeling the next day how your day was after the first set of treatments they want to know that you're comfortable uh, throughout the entire process and it's just it's a breath of fresh air there are places like that in the states that really care but a lot of times i've found myself getting medical treatment where I felt like I was just a number and that's something you don't feel here and uh, and to be fair I never felt like that with any of my doctors through this experience either my uh, my surgeon in Salt Lake was amazing I, I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea and think that I ever felt that way about them and their staff it was really cool and in Provo the, the physical therapist and in Salt Lake but anyway it's really special here it really is cool I stay either at the Lucerna which is like a block from the clinic or at the Fairfield Marriott that's where we're at today either one's really good the, the Marriott's a little bit cheaper but they're both really nice hotels it, it's just a block away so it's within walking distance we go out so we go in the clinic you it used to be that you went in the morning with everybody and there's 25 patients at a time at least it took all day now they've broke it up where you go in smaller groups for four hours at a time we you either go at nine to like one or one to four uh, or to five right in there and then we always we always go out in Tijuana and eat at really nice restaurants and we've never had in 12 years we've never had one ounce of trouble here leaving and going and doing things given we're not going out super late at night and we're always you know in a cab or you know, I, I don't recommend just going to her in the city at night <laughs> but it is really nice that's one of the misconceptions about coming down here is, you know you tell people you're going to Tijuana Mexico for treatment and they think you know, the worst of Tijuana. And I think it used to be that way. And there's probably still places in Tijuana that are awful. For the most part around the clinic and where we're at and the restaurants we go to, we've never even seen anything remotely scary or felt threatened in any way. So it's pretty cool. And we fly right into San Diego. Um, when we get to San Diego, one of the drivers or the shuttles from the clinic picks us up and it's only 15 or 20 minutes across the border. So no big deal getting here by flying into San Diego. Uh, I used to fly my my plane here there was a little tiny airport right up against the border that we would fly into in my plane and then we would just walk across the bridge but my plane's broken if you've been following along at all anyway i'll uh, i'll get some more video of in the clinic as we go through this process and probably left a few people wondering about my wife's lyme disease 
She started out by just getting really, really achy and uh, to the point where she would just lay in bed and cry. Her hair was falling out. She was losing tons of weight. It was really bad before we found out what it was and were able to come down here and get her treated. But once we got here and, and treated her, they saw her every three months for the first year and a half or so. By the second or third time down here, she was probably 80% better. I think it's been after the first year of coming down, she was pretty much better and then about after two years they couldn't find one trace of it in her blood and, and here we are 12 years later and she's never even had you know any kind of flare-up from Lyme disease or anything like that it is really amazing and I tell you I have literally seen miracles down here people that you didn't think could be that much better and a lot of times a lot of times they put you on the same schedule to come every three months so you get to see people that you know, maybe you get to be here with them when they first starting start getting treated and you get to see how effective it is after, you know, over time because you're on the same schedule with them. I remember seeing people with MS come in here that were in really, really rough shape and within a year, 80% better. That goes for most of the patients and, and literally almost anybody that I've ever brought down here uh, is that they'll attest to what I'm saying that it's just a miracle how good you feel when you leave here. Even with my stuff, I don't know that that I noticed this huge difference on feeling coming back from my spinal cord injury uh, right when I leave here, but I do feel better. I feel, I don't know if it's getting rid of the toxins in your body from the um, surgeries and from, you know, from all the food and everything, but the anti-inflammatory stuff and, and how you feel when you leave here, at least for me, is really quite amazing. And, and for pretty much everybody that I've ever known that's come down here. So it is really a special place. So I'll show you more of the clinic today as we go through it and, and you can see a little bit more about it. Okay, made it into the clinic and I'm getting chelation and what is Glutathione. glutathione all the way down to those beautiful veins and i'm here with neighbors all the way in tijuana <laughs> we all sit here and get our fix yeah i'm ready you ready for what well, why are you getting all bowed up and look like you're scared how are you? How are you? Muy bien. Ready to go. Ready to go. Perfect. How are you today? Good. Better. Good. My nerve pain yes. is pretty much gone. At night. Good. So it's really good. Yes. We're going to give you all the things right now for you. This is Senior Calzada. There you go. He started the clinic. In what year? Oh, I am working right now. 33 years. 33 years. So he knows what he's doing. <laughs> A bit, yes, I think so. And this is his son Antonio who is going to take over the clinic. No, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Casey's getting stem cell injections right in his neck. I swear that needle gets bigger every time. It does. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Only for him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And where are these cells from, Antonio? I have a picture from the first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Good? Yeah. You got any candy? Yeah. Oh, you do not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to show you right in here. Yeah. Okay. That's the spot. <laughs> there you go. Just get one right now. See that needle? See the guy with the gloves? That wasn't bad, was it? No, that one wasn't too bad. It's not as bad as the thing. No. Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough. Yeah, reward me when I get home. Hey! <laughs> right in here? <laughs> One, two, three. Dude, my this arm's taking so much damn pain. Should have said that so soon. That, <laughs> that was thinner. That hurt. Yeah. We go. Okay. When will the new building be done? January, hopefully? We are opening that by the second week of January. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, it's really nice new clinic. It's We're really going to cool. have a gym. Oh, really? Yeah. Good, because the hotel ones are closed. We're going to have a gym, medical stuff. Are you going to have uh, hyperbaric chambers? 
we're gonna put some cryo therapy. Mm -hmm. Cryo? Yeah. Huh? What about the one, two, three, son? Good gun, man. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Great. Okay, now you're a new man. We're on our way back across the border. These are all the patients that are on our flight and yeah. going with us today. What are you being treated for? Parkinson's and Lyme disease. Parkinson's and Lyme disease, thyroid. That one on the guy with the glasses just for being a girl. <laughs> Bad shoulder, rheumatoid arthritis. Tiff, what are you getting treated for? Thyroid. Thyroid. Is everybody happy with their treatment? Yeah. Pretty awesome, huh? When you come back across the border, if you don't have the medical pass, you're in line for hours and hours. But when you come on their medical bus, you have a medical pass and it shorts it up by a long ways. We'll probably only be in line for. Hey, amigo. Hey, a ver, muéstramelo otra vez. No, hay que subirle a ella. Amigo, subirle. Bien hecho, amigo. Mira. Ahí está. 